I'm sorry, I'm Kevin McGuire. Welcome to the McGuire household. You see, we've been chosen as the first family to test the new Honda Osimo robot, and I just sent it out to go check on the mail. It is so much fun watching the neighbors' faces when they first see Osimo. Like, Phil? Phil? No, no, you can't, you can't borrow the robot. Okay. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with Osimo, you're going to be amazed at the way... You know what? We're just going to have to see it to believe it. Of course, when we first met Osimo a couple weeks ago, we learned that its name stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. And, oh, there it comes now. Everyone, say hello to Osimo. Did we have any mail? No, but your neighbor gave this to me. Oh, I wonder if it's from Phil. <laughs> oh, it's an invitation to Cassidy's birthday party. My kids will be very excited to Osmo. Thank you, that was great. Well, I'm an amazingly capable humanoid robot. Yes. How can I help you? Well, actually, my parents are coming over later because my wife Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I was supposed to call my wife as soon as you got here. I was just having so much fun. You know what? Let's give her a call now. Come on, I've got her on speed dial. Hi, honey. Hi. Hey, look what just arrived. Awesome. -o. Yeah. <laughs> Can I keep it? <laughs> sure. Hello. Hi, awesome. -o. I'm leaving work early today, and I'll pick up the kids. Okay. They are so excited. So I'll see you in a while. Oh, and honey, don't forget we're going out tonight. So remind your parents of the babysitting and order pizza. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See you. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye, Asimo. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Osmo, welcome to the family. Thank you. I just need to remember to order that pizza. What do you think? Sausage or pepperoni? What am I talking about? Now, developing the world's most advanced humanoid robot didn't happen overnight. It took teams of Honda experts over 20 years to create this amazing piece of technology. And we're talking about experts in the fields of physics, anatomy, mathematics, computer sciences, chemistry, mechanical, and electrical engineering. <laughs> oh, and check this out. Osimo, come this way, please. Now, if I'm sitting down, or in a wheelchair like my wife, Osimo's camera eyes are at about the same level as my eyes, and this makes communication very simple. In fact, if you look over at the screen, you can see Osimo looking at me. Hello, Osimo. Hello, Kevin. Oh, Osimo, please turn out to all of our new friends. Everyone wave and say, hello, Osimo. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and there you are. Now, you might be wondering why Osmo isn't on wheels or treads or something like that. Well, Osmo was designed to help people and to be a helper in our world, a world where we need to reach for things and pick things up or navigate along floors and sidewalks, even just to climb a set of stairs. What better design than that of a humanoid robot, one that has two arms and two legs? And Osmo, how tall are you? I'm four feet and three inches tall. Which is the perfect height for opening and closing doors, or turning lights on and off, even working at table services, or just moving things around the inside of a house. <laughs> and, Osimo, how much do you weigh? I weigh 119 pounds. I wonder what all that would be in metric. I'm 130 centimeters tall and weigh 54 kilograms. All right, and how fast can you walk? I can walk about two miles per hour. And in metric, that would be about... That would be about three kilometers per hour. Yeah, that's great, Osimo. Thank you, Kevin. Now, in order for a robot to operate in our world, it must have the ability to walk. And walking can be very complicated. Follow me on this. You see, with each step that I take, my brain must send countless signals at lightning fast speed throughout my nervous system. This goes to 
The muscles, tendons, and ligaments in my legs, hips, arms, and shoulders, which all have to move in sync just for me to keep my balance. But the really amazing... <laughs> the really amazing thing is that Osmo does something very similar to this, but uses motor sensors and computers to keep its balance and walk like a human. Now, Osmo can also sidestep in a straight line or on a curve, and this makes <laughs> this makes navigating through a house with all of its constantly changing obstacles very simple. And believe me, Osmo, that move is going to come in very handy with my kids and all of their constantly changing obstacles. But what's even more impressive, not only can Osmo walk forward, but Osmo can also walk backward as well constantly adjusting its center of gravity with each step, <laughs> just like us. And Osmo's balance is so good, let's just show them. Osmo? Please balance on one foot, um, like this. Yeah. Now Osmo makes it look easy. How about the other foot? All right. Osmo must constantly analyze the data from all of its sensors and 34 separate servo motors. And well, Osmo, I guess it's true. There's really nothing you can't do except fly, right? But I can play soccer. Yes, you can. And you know what? I think Paul left her soccer ball here. So yeah. Why not show everyone? Oh, hold on, just a moment. Let me get some goalposts to make it official. All right, Osmo. Bend it like Beckham. Oh, and that's a goal! Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it looks simple. But kicking the soccer ball actually requires some technically advanced balance, stability, and coordination. Do you know what, Oscar? With your ability to understand vocal commands and navigate effortlessly through the environment, it's easy to see how helpful you're going to be around the house. <laughs> oh, telephone. Hey, is Osimo there? Yeah, right here. Hello. That is so cool. Uh, Osimo, no. we'll be home in like five minutes. <laughs> Osimo, I told everyone in school they could come over and meet you. Wait, what? I invited everyone in the neighborhood. Hold on. Also, your video. Yeah, Osimo, you're a star. Bye, bye, Osimo. Okay. Bye, kids. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Love you. <laughs> well, Osimo, looks like you're um. Pretty popular with my kids. Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Actually, what my kids are talking about is Osimo's DVD, Step to Safety with Osimo, in which it shows how we can use Osimo's unique walking ability to help teach young children safe ways of crossing the street. But Osimo can be helpful in many different ways. In fact, Osimo, could you use your wireless networking capabilities to go online and look for tonight's weather forecast? Yes, I will go online. Great. My wife and I are going out for our anniversaries tonight. Partly cloudy, with a high in the mid-60s. Perfect. I'll just remind her to bring a sweater. We can have dinner on the patio. Now, even though Osmo's current role is a helper in the home today, someday Osmo might be able to work in dangerous situations, like fighting fires. <laughs> yeah. Or work in unhealthy environments, cleaning up toxic spills. And but I'm not only designed to help. I can also have fun. I think I know what you're talking about. Everyone, would you like to see Osmo dance? Yeah! Yeah! Okay.